You can determine the true wind speed and direction using a maneuvering board and some vector addition. Before we get into the actual problems, a couple of quick things to note. If your vessel is underway, making way, you're going to have a couple of different vectors, which is a direction and a magnitude, that are affecting you. So if you're moving, you're generating your own wind in the opposite direction of your course and speed. Likewise, if there's some wind blowing out there from the sky, since you're moving, you're not going to experience the true wind. Instead, you're going to experience the apparent wind. So that word apparent is what you see on your deck. It's a combination of your course and speed and the, the wind speed and direction that's blowing um, across your deck. Seldom is the apparent wind and the true wind the same. Likewise, winds are named for the direction in which they originate. So a north wind blows from the north to the south. A west wind blows from the west towards the east. So when you keep track of these vectors, it can be a little tricky sometimes, um, and you can easily make a mistake. So on the US Coast Guard exams, there are a couple of different types of vector problems, and one of them is relative wind problems. So in our first problem, it says that your vessel is on course 180 degrees true at 22 knots. So the first step here would be to draw 180 degrees true, and then for a distance of 22 knots. So we'll probably use the three to one scale in this case. On the maneuvering board over here, I'll set my measurement to 22 knots. So 180 at 22 knots. So that represents E to R. And you can remember this as E to R is our course and speed. So the next part of the problem says that the apparent wind is from 70 degrees off the port bow at 20 knots. So remember that our ship is heading in this direction so that this is port and this is starboard. So if the wind is 70 degrees off the port bow, we can count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So it's coming from here because winds are always named for the direction in which they blow. So what you can do is you can set your triangle to that level right there and then parallel it over to the R point. Then if we draw that vector in the same direction and for a distance of 20 knots on a three to one scale, we end up with a new point. This point you can label W. So W sort of stands for relative wind or apparent wind here, R to W, but you've got your E to R vector for our course and speed, the R to W for the apparent wind vector, and then the answer is going to be from E to W. From E to W. Now it's very easy to get this incorrect and say that, um, you know, all right, the answer is 230 degrees there. But the thing to remember is that winds come from a certain direction. So al although the wind is blowing from E to W, we name things for winds the opposite. So it's easy to just kind of leave your triangle set there and make a mark over here at 0, 5, 1 degrees true. So the wind is coming from 51 degrees and it's blowing across your, your deck and then blowing over towards this distance. So on a normal maneuvering board, if you've used these for other things, this would be your answer from E to W, but winds are named from E to W. One thing you can remember is the acronym WET, W-E-T, W-E-T, that's your answer over here. W-E-T, that's your answer over there. Okay, so that illustrates kind of um, the direction of the wind, but what about the speed of the wind? It's gonna be equal to the distance of this vector here on a three to one scale. So about, you know, 24 knots is what we've got. So on a Coast Guard exam, you can choose the closest answer to what you plot and you would be correct in this case. So choice Bravo. Let's do another practice problem. 
In this case, your vessel is on course 270 at 10 knots. So we'll go 270 and we'll also use a three to one scale for this one, just to be safe. All right, so I've got my point here and that represents E to R, which is our course and speed. E to R is our course and speed. The apparent wind is 10 degrees off the port bow. So that means it's gonna be coming from here, 10 degrees off the port bow at a speed of 30 knots. So if we take this angle right here, 10 degrees off the bow and parallel it over to R and then draw it out, that's gonna represent the RW vector. How long do we draw it? Well, we draw it the length of the published uh, apparent wind here, 30 knots on a three to one scale. So that would be our point right there. So what is the true wind? What is the true wind? Well, it blows from E to W, but we name things opposite. So you can remember the acronym WET and then just make your mark kind of over there at a course of 255 degrees true. So the wind is coming from 255, W-E-T is your answer. And it blows in this direction across your deck and out there according to the vector. If you needed the wind speed, you could measure this distance on a three to one scale. It should be around 21 knots or so. They don't ask for that in this Coast Guard problem. However, uh, that's the way that you would do it. The other thing to know is that on a vessel that is moving ahead, the true wind is always on the same side and aft of the apparent wind. So you could draw your ship out here and note that the true wind here is on the same side but aft of the apparent wind. All right, so that's a quick look at how to do apparent wind and relative wind problems on the maneuvering board.